Hello everyone who is watching us from the United States. Uh, hello dear friends, colleagues, uh, hookah enthusiasts and hookah professionals. Uh, well, my name is Stan Metkov. I am the chief of Hookah Battle organization. And today I would like to say a few words about uh, this show, Shop and Lounge Award and some other our events. So. I would like to. I would like you to, to know some uh, important information regarding this show. So uh, it's a complicated, big project, Shop at Lauch Award, uh, and we actually organize it in ten countries. And uh, the idea is that we move from one country to another country and show the people how uh, the beautiful hookah lounges and shops. Uh, looks in uh, some particular country. So it's a kind of uh, journey <laughs> from one country to another. And we will are going to finish uh, our show with uh, Best Lounge and Shop Interior Design Award uh, uh, today. And the winner of this show will be able to participate in uh, the Grand Prix event. So it's going to be at December this year and the idea is that we will take the winner from each country like one winner from russia ukraine germany spain usa and so on and the international jury will evaluate uh, the participants from different countries and we will know who is the best uh, interior design for shop and lounge in the world it's gonna be in december but today we will find out uh, what is the most beautiful hookah lounge at hookah store uh, in the United States. Uh, I would like to say thanks to all the uh, informational partners and guys who support us with this event. Uh, also, thanks to the, all the participants who send us their video, who participated in this show. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. And uh, I would like to pay your attention to some of our two events, which is upcoming later in the United States. It's going to be the first thing. Uh, it's going to be Hookah Expo Worldwide, our great partners. And we are going to organize Hookah Battle USA Cup on the territory of uh, Hookah Expo Worldwide. It's going to be 9th October. And we are still looking for some participants. If you are a legal age person, hookah enthusiast, all you need to do is just to come to Hookah Expo Worldwide, register on our website or send us a message that you want to participate and prepare one hookah for the jury. So it's kind of simple thing and you will get some uh, really great gifts from our partners and also any participants of hookah battle any show um, uh, participate in our worldwide rating which we call hall of fame of hookah battle uh, you can check on our website hall of fame uh, even if you did not take any award place like first second or third place our system will grant you uh, points in hall of fame international rating and when you will reach 40 points uh, this will give you a status of legend of hookah battle, which will give you some great opportunities. You can check on our website. And one more thing, we are also looking for the participants of our new show in the United States, Smoke Tricks, Internal Smoke Tricks. Uh, uh, if you know how to make a smoking rings, uh, this is enough to participate. So you will, uh, you can register on our website and check some information. Uh, the price found for this event is uh, 1000 United States dollars. So it's easy to participate. Well, um, it's just some short information about our upcoming events. Let's check what is the most interesting interior designs we have in the United States. Come on, let's watch it. Thank you. What's up? My name is Matt from Morning Hookah, and I'm your humble host on this journey that we're going to take all throughout the United States to check out some of the most beautiful and elegant and wonderful interior designs of the hookah shops here in the United States. But I am only one of the many people you're going to be meeting today. 
Like I said, I'm your humble host on this journey, but we're going to take a look at the judges that we have for this event as well. So let's go ahead and start meeting them right away. The first judge that we're going to be meeting today, he's a friend to me, he's a friend to you, to the entire community. Let's go ahead and welcome Smoking with Bob to the stage. Bob, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Matt. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure always to be on here and be with you. Yes, it's exciting to have you on once again. Obviously, me and you, we hung out yesterday. If you have not already seen that video, go yeah. and check out right here on youtube.com slash hookah battle, and you can see all the beautiful hookah lounges and their interior design as well. Are you excited to be judging some beautiful interiors of hookah shops today? I'm super excited. This is going to be a great, great battle, and I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody has to show us. I agree. I'm excited too. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other judges that are going to be joining us on this journey as well. Let's go ahead and meet from Al Fokker. He's a lifelong hookah fan and a person that's been involved in marketing for a very long time. Uh, Kedrick, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing, Kedrick? I'm doing great. Excited to be here. Happy to meet everyone and really excited to take a look at all of the interior designs, all of the shops um and and just be a part of this phenomenal opportunity and and wonderful organization i'm excited to have you here especially because somebody that's a part of marketing and somebody that kind of sees it from the other side of the world i think you're going to bring a really good perspective on the fact that we're looking at the interior designs of all these shops because something important in marketing is how good it looks absolutely um i spent a large portion of my career running retail design for a lot of the the organizations that i've worked for so interior design retail design retail marketing is a big part of what i've been doing for a long time and a big part of my passion so again couldn't can express in words how happy i am to be a part of this uh this opportunity and um to be a judge here well we're happy to have you kedrick thank you so much for joining us we're going to go ahead and meet a couple more of our judges right now Let's go ahead and take a look at Neve. Neve, you're somebody that's been a part of the hookah world for about 10 years. You've owned lounges before. You've seen the world and when it comes to hookah. Thank you so much for being here. How are you doing, Neve? I am doing great. I want to thank everyone for giving me this great opportunity. Um, as Matt mentioned, I do a lot of traveling, and I'm lucky that I get to share this great hobby with so many friends worldwide. Um, I'm a previous lounge owner, and I've worked with many brands um, here in California in the hookah industry. I currently am working with Regal Hookah, so that's it. That's very exciting. We're happy to have you here. Can't wait to hear your thoughts and opinions on many of these shops that we take a look at today. Let's go ahead and meet our very last judge today as well. We're excited to have him. He's someone that's been around Hookah for over 30 years. If you have a question, chances are he has an answer for you, or at least he can make up an answer for you. He's owned lounges. He's been a part of the Hookah world. In fact, he actually is in part of a Hookah shop online that you can go and buy stuff from today. But let's let's chat with Jack from Peter Smoke and Oasis Lounge. Jack, how are you doing today, man? Oh, I'm doing great, and I'm just happy to be here. I feel actually privileged to be here and honored to be here. I have been involved in a, quite a few uh, hookah battle events. We actually uh, hosted a uh, hookah battle junior event at our lounge, Oasis in Las Vegas. Uh, I've been the judge at the premium hookah battle. And uh, that was the event in uh, in uh, St. Petersburg. I was a judge there. And uh, just being involved with hookah battle has always been a, a pleasure. Uh, you know, I, I've been smoking hookah for a long time. I own a lounge. I own an online website. Uh, you know, I'm just, I just, I love being involved in the hookah community. Yeah, having your level of expertise on today's events, I think is gonna be absolutely fantastic. I'm, I don't envy you at all because you're gonna be the one that's gonna be doing the judging. I just get to host the thing and enjoy the event, but we're happy to have you, Jack. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So we're gonna go ahead and take a brief short history on what exactly this United States Hookah Battle, Hookah Shop Interior Design Award exactly is and how the judging went down for it. The first thing we did is we had a preliminary vote on the website where people were allowed to be nominated from all over the United States. After that, we got to the top 10 of all of the people who were nominated. Now they've each prepared a video clip for us to sit down, watch, and be judged. And after we see all 10 video clips, that's when we're going to break it down to the first, second, and third place winners. So, you know, I think the last thing to do is to thank Hookah Battle, thank the president, uh, Oleg, and, and thank you all for joining us today and watching us here. So let's go ahead and waste no further time and take a look at our very first participant, Team A, Mob 
hookah. So there you go, our very first participant of today's events. That was Mob Hookah and their retail environment. And they're very nice, and I would say very exquisite interior design, but I'm not the one judging it. I'm just the one hosting it. So let's go ahead and ask one of our judges what their thoughts were about of it. Uh, Kedrick, let's go ahead and hear your thoughts on what you thought of that entry video from Mob Hookah. Obviously, a lot of people are familiar with Mob Hookahs. Wow. Um the first thing that comes to mind after looking at that was, wow, right? Didn't look like the traditional hookah store. Very clean, very upscale. Um, I, I, yeah, wow. Um, I, I don't know exactly what type of account I would say it looked like, but, you know, it all came together, got the concept of Ma hookah towards the end with the, the white setup at the back that once they kind of closed in on it, I can see all kinds of guns and weapons. And so I could see the connection there. Um, the only downside, and I won't even say it was a downside. I wish it had been larger. You know, yeah. I mean, it was really well designed. It was really pretty. Um, it was really, really clean. And it just seemed like a small hallway, which you know, that was the only thing that disappointed me. And I understand that's not the, the, the the issue or the the fault of the the account right you make use of the space that you have and the one thing i would say is they made a a very great very very good use of that space um yeah. i'll steal your word word and say it was what i would call somewhat exquisite and and just different from anything i had seen um yeah. i didn't see much product there and i would say not a downside but just something i wish i had seen more of how they set that up and mm -hmm. how they made in some cases what can be a a category that doesn't bring a lot of design to the front, to the, to, you know, to the, the category in terms of differentiation among packaging. I wish I'd seen a little bit more of the packaging or I, if I did, I don't remember it, but um, just overall, just, just more than very, very nice, just extremely clean and something that if I walked into, I would probably pull out my phone and take pictures of and send to friends and saying, Hey, this was, this was set up in a, an extremely nice way. So, I mean, yeah, I think it yeah, definitely had a very nice look to it. And it was very clean, just like you were saying. I, I, I think that the only thing, the downside is I wish the video would have been longer. I would have liked to have seen more of the product, more of the space and the use of it. But hey, that's something that they sent in to us to be judged. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. But let's go ahead and hear from another one of our judges real quick. I'd like to hear what Smoking with Bob. Bob, obviously, is somebody that has been around the world, seen many different shops and many different things. What would you? What did you think of the Mob Hookah location? Well, first of all, it looked uh, very upscale. Uh, I, I really, really liked the layout and the design. Uh, going with what Kedrick said, it was uh, a narrow store, but laid out very, very nicely uh, where everything was able to be seen. Uh, I really do like how they, uh, they put everything together. I would have liked to have seen it a little bit more of the store, a little bit uh, more detail. But from what I could see, if I walked in, it, it definitely had a wow factor. Uh, it definitely with all, you know, the, the video screens and uh, that backdrop wall was uh, very eye catching with the guns. And uh, I, I have to say it, it looked really, really nice. It, it definitely caught my eye. 
Yeah, and mob hookah is definitely a hookah that I think a lot of people have a lot of experience with. They've either owned one, yes. they've smoked out of one, they've seen one. Like mob is definitely a brand name that people are very familiar with. So I think to have a retail spot like that that looks as nice as it does, I think it's really cool actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I they're, 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 they're famous for their gu their gun hookahs, you know, so uh, yeah. so definitely, definitely eye-catching. I agree with you completely. Well, let's go ahead and make sure that we move right along to the rest of our contestants because we have a lot of videos to get through today. So let's travel all the way over to Tennessee, go to Memphis, and check out the Whatever Shop. Original extract. So there it was in Memphis from Tennessee. That was the Whatever Shop. Definitely a pretty funky and cool place. Definitely something that had a lot of variety and a lot of different things there as well. Uh, Some place I would like to definitely go and check out. But let's hear from one of our judges and what they thought about that. So let's go ahead and talk to Jack. Jack, what did you think about the Whatever Shop in Memphis? You know, I'm going to have to say the Whatever Shop was whatever. <laughs> I didn't see a lot of hookah products, and that was kind of disappointing. Uh, it looked more like a head shop, had the whole psychedelic thing going on, but uh, this is a hookah battle, and hookah is what I wanted to see, and I didn't really see a lot of hookah stuff, and uh, that was a little disappointing. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's uh, that, that's that's kind of uh, every, everything I got to say. I wish I would have just, I wish they would have focused more on their hookah products and shown us what they had that was hookah related. I didn't see really any emphasis on any pipes. I didn't see any hookah tobacco. I didn't see anything that was related to any hookah brands. That's my take. Yeah, I agree. You know, something that I would have liked to have seen from the whatever shop was a little less whatever and a little more hookah, but that's what we got left with at least for right now. So let's go ahead and take it on over to the other judge and also ask what uh, Shisha with Neve. Neve, what did you think about the whatever shop? Are you feeling kind of whatever as well? I have to agree with you and Jack on that one. Um, I would have liked to have seen a lot more hookah products. That was more of just a typical smoke shop, in my opinion. Um, as far as artwork, lots of artwork on the walls, lots of bright colors. The place did look clean. The products they did have were very organized. But as far as hookah products, I would have liked to see more of that. I agree with you completely. It was definitely a little bit whatever when it came to hookah, but the interior design in terms of what they were doing definitely looked pretty cool. But it was no, kind of missing the point. Yeah, I agree. Um, but we still have many more contestants to get through today. And this one, I have a good feeling, is going to be a little bit more hookah-focused, focused, especially considering the fact that the name of this next entry is Five Star Hookah. So let's take a look at them.
So there was Five Star Hookah. Obviously, people that are familiar with California are definitely big fans of Five Star Hookah. They also have a very large online presence as well. So chances are you've probably ordered something from Five Star Hookah. Very awesome looking place. Some place that I've always personally wanted to visit. Uh, they have a great reputation, obviously. But I want to hear from some of the judges and what their thoughts was on the video entry that was submitted to us. So let's go on over to Kedrick and ask him exactly what he thought about Five Star Hookah. So what were your thoughts, Kedrick? Um, I hate to keep using the same word, but but wow, right? Very different from what I would call mob hookah, but a large place looked like if there was any type of hookah or hookah product I was looking for, I could find it there. I have to be honest, I, I am very familiar with, with Five Star Hookah living here in L.A. Um, I, I mean, it, it, it's a wild place also. I would argue the video didn't do it justice. Um, and... And as we talked about a hookah store, I mean, they are a hookah store, not a smoke shop. Um, I don't know if I even saw any other smoke products. And it's interesting, given the size and the square footage of the space, wasn't design heavy in, in terms of comparing it to mob hookah. But, I, you know, it was um, the, view, the video was nice. I know that store is being a very nice, very clean store not a head shop and um you know the way they lay it out i've been in there before i i know the the aesthetics of the store um you know and and so far if i were judging personally just just straight up hookah stores um would be probably one of the top for me um you know i, I the only thing i would say and, and i don't know who's on the call or or, or is would love to see kind of more design leading things. Um, mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, most definitely a, a fantastic use of the space and, and very, very cool for what is, what I would say a hookah forward store. So I man, I yeah. don't know more what else to say there. And, and again, just that store and probably one of the other ones have made this competition a lot harder than I expected to be from a judging perspective. <laughs> Definitely very cool to see a hookah shop like Five Star. They have a wide variety of stuff. Like you said, if there's something you're looking for, chances are you're probably going to be able to find it there. From hookahs to tobacco to accessories, just everything runs the gambit at Five Star for sure. Let's go ahead and hear from another one of our judges and see what they think about Five Star. Smoking with Bob, you have traveled the world. You've gone to many places. Have you been to Five Star before? Absolutely, I've been to Five Star. Uh, what can I say? It's Five Star. Uh, it's got definitely that wow factor where you, when you walk in, you want to pull out your wallet. <laughs> so, uh, they're the, honestly, it has, uh, you know, you walk in there and you don't know where to look first because there's so many, so much product there to be seen. Um, as far as design goes, it, it didn't have a, there's a wow factor, let's say of the mode because, uh, but outside of that, it was, it, it's extremely very large uh like uh kedrick said the uh the video didn't do its justice on size it's a very very large store uh and everything is laid out really really nicely for the consumer to, to find the product that they're looking for whether it be tobacco or a certain pipe they're looking for uh and um you know being there uh you know and and i i know the owners uh you 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 get service uh they're very good at the knowledge of the product that they're selling I, I really thought it was, it was really nice and, uh, you know, it's a great shop and it really, uh, it really puts it, puts this judging to a, a tough level with that store. I, I completely agree. I'm glad that I don't have to do the judging. I just get to sit around and watch <laughs> yeah. the video. <laughs> well, yeah. let's go it, ahead. And this is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and take a look at All another right, one of our entries that are put on to today. We are going to be traveling a little bit once again and taking a look at Indie Smoke Times. Let's see what they have to offer.
There was one of our special entries right there, Indie Smoke Time. Definitely a pretty nice looking place. I wish I would have been able to see a little bit more of the location itself, but the uh, display of the products I thought was a very good way to display all the products and obviously a pretty good selection of both hookahs and tobaccos as well. But I'm interested to hear what Jack thinks about this location. So, Jack, what did you think about Indie Smoke Time? It looked pretty good. Uh, I like the way they had everything laid out. You could uh, definitely walk in, uh, see all the product in the glass, uh, you know, uh, display cases. Uh, it looked like they had a decent selection of hookahs. Um, you know, one thing that uh, I'm not understanding about the entries is why they're focusing so much on the uh, glass that is non hookah related. Uh, you know, I think that that shouldn't be involved in it or that shouldn't be included in these videos. But hey, we're looking at the entries as they're entered and we're judging upon, uh, you know, what they provided for us. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to vote accordingly. Uh, this is a, this is a hookah battle. I want to see hookah stuff. I wish I could have seen a little bit more of their hookah stuff. And they, I wish I would have focused a little bit more upon the hookah products they had. They looked like they had a good selection of tobacco and had, you know, a good selection of pipes. But, you know, they had a good, good selection of other stuff that we're not interested in. Yeah, I think the variety on the hookahs was nice. The variety on the tobacco was definitely something that I think that a, a lot of shops actually don't have. I've been to many places that are not a part of this battle that have one or two brands, one or two hookahs that you have to choose from. So it's nice to see a good selection. But I agree with you. We're interested to see what the design about hookahs in terms of this shop is. And that's something that we did not really see with this one. Would you agree? I do agree. You know, one thing that we are supposed to judge upon is the design of the shop. Now everything was laid out and you could see all the products and all that kind of stuff, but it lacked like, you know, mob five star. They had that a little, they had that, you know, there was a little bit more presence and presentation there where the design layout was nice and inviting. And, you know, this, yeah, definitely this a little bit harder to tell with this one uh, for sure. Yeah. But let's go ahead and see what Neve, uh, Shisha with Neve. I want to hear what your thoughts are on this one as well. What did you think of Indie Smoke Time? I really wish that I would have gotten a better sense of the layout of the shop as a whole. Um, we did see a lot of their display cases. I did like the floating shelves holding the hookahs. There was a lot of tobacco products, hookah products. Um, but I would have liked to have seen more of the shop as a whole to get a better sense for their design. This is an interior design contest. Um, mm -hmm. That's all I have to yeah, say. Yeah, we can only one. go... We can only go off of what they submit to us, sadly, and that's the way that it works. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the next location and see what they have on offer for us. So let's travel on over to Gun Smoke Hookah and Smoke Shop and see what their entry looks like. Smoke Shop here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. We welcome everybody and we uh, look forward to serving everybody uh, all your smoke needs. I'm gonna let you guys look around. We'll go over a few products. And just to let you know a little about us, uh, we've been in the market for about a year. We uh, we look forward to have pretty much the greatest selection of shisha, hookahs, all the parts, accessories, everything you need for your shisha. So uh, look us up on the website and happy holidays. Thank you, uh, Hookah Battle, for having us. We'll see you guys soon.
Well, there was Gunsmoke Hookah and Smoke Shop. Pretty cool looking location. It was nice to hear from somebody on the team over there at Gunsmoke and hear a little bit about their history being there for about a year, it sounds like. So pretty cool stuff. Once again, my name is Matt. I'm from Morning Hookah. Thank you so much for joining us here today for the Hookah Battle for the Hookah Shop Interior Design Award. If you like me and what you're seeing right here, you can always check out youtube.com slash morning hookah. Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of a plug in as well. But we're going to go ahead and talk to a couple of our judges, see what they thought about the Gunsmoke Hookah and Smoke Shop. So let's hear it from uh, Kedrick. Kedrick, what do you think about Gunsmoke Hookah and Smoke Shop? Um, really like the store, right? And you can tell that it was a hookah store, like the video, like the personalization by having, I guess, the owner or the manager or whoever that was talk about it a bit. Um, very clean, very nice. Uh, didn't get a sense of superior design is what I would say, right? It, it struck me as a very nice, very large hookah store first, maybe smoke shop second. Um, like that it was a video and not a collection of images. So I got a, a sense in my mind of what the entire account looked like. Um, and, and nice is what I would say, right? It, it, it wasn't a smoke shop. It wasn't similar to many of the places that I've walked into, which was a good thing. You know, something that I bring my child and my dog and my wife or whoever into in terms of if I were looking for hookah materials, which is a good thing, but didn't strike me as a place that I would walk in and say, oh, wow, you know, this is not traditional and typical which I think, you know, end of the day is not a bad thing, but in terms of judging um, stores that are hookah related or at least hookah forward and in the concept, context of, of a, in the context of judging one store that's supposed to look really, really nice versus a store that doesn't, um, it, it didn't have that wow factor for me yeah. or to, to bite a phrase that, you know, some of you may be feel familiar with it. I would say it was all right for me, dog. Uh, I, know, it's still, I, I, still I agree really with that. Phrase. It was all right for me, dog. It was just all right, yeah. dog. And I think that's actually a good way to put it in a lot of ways, because if I was to walk in there, I would probably be very happy and satisfied. It's a functional hookah store, I think would be a good way to put it, because it's exactly what you're getting. You're getting a hookah store, and that's a good thing. But in terms of interior design is what this award is about. I see where you're coming from. It was all right, dog. You're all right, dog. <laughs> and I hate Let's to go. say that, especially the owners on, on, on the screen watching, which which I would hate to, to, to say that, you know, with them around. But, yeah, to your point, it was, it was all right, dog. It was all right for me. It was all right, dog. It was, good. It was all right. Well, let's hear what uh, Smoking from Bob has to say about this entry as well. Bob, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on what you thought about Gunsmoke Hookah and Smoke Shop. What do you think? Yeah, I kind of have to concur with uh, with Kedrick. Uh, it was to me it was a uh, hookah slash head shop type store. Uh, definitely, you know, had a lot of good product there. Uh, the layout looked looked pretty good. Didn't have that wow factor of the interior design, but definitely had a lot of product. Uh, I I could probably find what I was looking for in, in the store. Uh, it uh, it looked like a pretty decent sized shop inside. But yeah, I have to agree with Kedrick. It was like, yeah, definitely. It was all right, dog. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Just uh, go with Kedrick on that. You know, it was, uh, it was all right, you know? It was all right. There was a good selection. There was definitely a, a variety of yeah. hookah. There was definitely a variety of tobacco, yeah. which is always a good thing in terms of design mm -hmm. and layout, kind of functional in that terminology, I guess you could say. But hey, you're the judge. You're going to yeah. have to put down your final thoughts on it, not me. Absolutely, absolutely. Looking forward to the rest of them. I am too. We're going to take a look at a, another location here in just a minute. Want to give a big shout out to Hookah Battle, the uh, actual site and platform that we're a part of right now and doing this uh, whole competition for. Make sure you check out hookahbattle.com. We're going to be talking about them a little bit later on because there's a couple of important things that you should know about, not only the upcoming events, but also the kind of services that Hookah Battle also uh, supplies to the, uh, to, to the industry as well. We'll be talking about Hookah Headhunt in a little while, and we'll also be talking about Hookah Hub as well. But let's go ahead and get back to our entries and take a look at another one of the videos. Let's go ahead and take a look at Team F, which is Headline Smoke. Thank you. 
Well, there was Headline Smoke, definitely one of the more exciting uh, video entries, in my opinion. And, and Jack, I'll be honest, I feel I feel like this is the first one that you've been able to comment on that has a large amount of hookahs at disposal. But for some reason, you keep getting the video entries that deal with other glassware as well. But what's your thoughts on Headline's Smoke? You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to have to say that video did not show any interior design. It showed a lot of product, you know, regardless of what the product was. This is an interior design thing. It didn't show any interior design. So, you know, I, I'm kind of disappointed in that. Uh, and you know what? I, I really feel bad that I, I almost feel like everything I have to say is negative, right? Everything that every, every time that I've had to judge one of these that, you know, it's been my turn to speak upon, uh, there's been something negative. I think that these shops that, are, you know, are just falling in my lap are kind of missing the mark when it comes to interior design. We're looking for shops with a, with a you know, above and beyond or above average, you know, interior design, not just a smoke shop. And I think that uh, this place is probably a great place where you can go buy, get whatever you need. But I didn't see any interior design, you know, yeah. and it's just a little disappointing to see that the, the, we have so many good shops across the United States. And I travel a lot myself, too, and I go to all these shops. And, you know, when I'm out and about, uh, I almost make it a point not to bring a hookah with me and go somewhere and either buy hookah products or visit a lounge or whatever. And, you know, there's a lot of good shops around, but they're just, I think they're not understanding the concept of this competition. And I think they kind of missed the mark when it comes to showcasing what their store looks like. Yeah, and I'll be the first to say that I've had many conversations with Jack and he's not always negative. I mean, sometimes he can be, no, I'm just, I'm kidding, Jack. You're, you're a very no, good I, guy. You know, everybody, everybody, everybody that I converse with, comes to the conclusion that I'm a pessimist. <laughs> that's just something I gotta live with. I mean, I, that's just me. You know, I I wouldn't say I'm a bad guy, but you know, in a lot of a lot of times, I'm very critical of these things. Being that I've been in this game for a little while and I've been smoking for hookah for so long, and I've seen so much in my time, like you know, 30 plus years of being in this hookah game, like all over the world, I've been, you know, and I just expected a little bit more out of some of the videos that I'm seeing today. Sorry. You know, I don't I, I'm just, I, I, I've been commissioned to judge something and there are very specific parameters. I'm trying to stick to that. And I think that that's the best way to handle it. Hey, being a pessimist, there's nothing negative about that by nature. But let's talk to somebody that I would probably consider a little bit of an optimist, which would be uh, Shisha with Neve. Shisha with Neve, what did you think about this location? I am an optimist and this is very hard to judge on. I have to agree with Jack on this one. We're almost getting the short end of the stick here. Um, with some some of the entries we've gotten, it's a little bit hard. Uh, with this shop, though, there was a lot of close-ups and very fast close-ups of clips of the products they had. But as far as design goes, I want to see the shop as a whole. I want to get a feel for it as if I was walking in as a customer right now. Um, it was a little lacking on that. They did have hookah products, but... You know, you could see at the end of their um, video, they had a list of all the products that they specialize in and hookah was at the bottom. So 
you know, yeah. that's the, that's not their priority. Um, but as far as design goes, I didn't see too much going on. And part of that could have just been the video editing and maybe not getting some better shots. Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, this video definitely showcased that they have a lot to offer, but I don't think they have a lot to offer necessarily in interior design based upon the video. I don't know if that's a fact or not, just I can only go off of what we're able to see. So exactly. let's go ahead and take a look at our next location and find out if they can give us something a little bit more of substance and a little bit more juicy maybe. So let's go ahead and travel over to the hookah zone and see what they look like. Well, that was the hookah zone, and I got to say, that was a pretty cool-looking place with a, a lot of variety, a lot of substance, and a lot of things happening there. I wish the video would have been slowed down just a little bit because I wanted to get a better idea of some of those design choices. I saw some beautiful artwork. I saw some great selections there, obviously, but still a very, very cool video, and I can hear Jack already right now asking why he can't be the one to comment on this one, so I think we'll bring him over real quick to ask him what he thinks about the hookah zone since this was a hookah location. What'd you think about that one, Jack? Let me tell you something, sign on the building, walk in the front door, huge place, hookah wall to wall, a great selection of products. When you walk in, it looked like a Costco of hookah. I like that. That yeah. shop was great. It, 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 it's just straightforward. There was some cool artwork on the wall. They showcased a lot of brands a lot of the brand artwork a lot of the labeling a lot of the stuff it was dedicated hookah stuff it wasn't extravagant it wasn't too flashy you know it wasn't like uh you know i can say one thing about the mob hookah store when you walked in it was very elegant this place wasn't elegant but it was to the point if you want hookah stuff you're gonna walk in there you're gonna feel at home you're gonna find what you want and you know you can already tell that at a store like that the staff is also going to be inviting you know, when you look at a video like this and you, you, you talk about design, uh, that place was designed like a hookah shop for somebody who's looking for something that you can't find anywhere else. You, you When you walk in, you feel like these people got it, right? These people know what they're doing and they got it. Uh, it wasn't super elegant or anything like that, but that shop is one that I think is going to be high up on the list. And I think a lot of the judges are going to agree with me that that's the kind of hookah shops that that I wish more hookah shops like that participated in this event. Yeah, that was a fantastic looking place. It was it was definitely going to make this judging just a little bit harder compared to some of the places that we've seen. But I, I think it was definitely a very cool standout. But I want to hear what a couple other judges also thought about that location as well. 
I'm interested to hear about from uh, Kedrick and what his thoughts were about the hookah zone coming from a marketing background and everything that you're able to see in that one. What are some of the things that stood out to you? Um, uh, first couple of things were great use of the space. Definitely walk in and, and feel as though there's some aesthetic there that it is a hookah store yes. first and foremost, more so, more so than anything else. Um, you know, it, it, it's interesting from a design pers design only, right? Aesthetically speaking, I don't know where I rank it just yet. I'm going back and trying to look at pictures of the other hookah stores. But once again, not too dissimilar from the other store that I commented on in front of everybody. Um, clean, not a place I, I, I would feel as though I was walking into and was kind of sketchy. It, it looked like a very, very, very nice store that just happened to sell hookah products. And um, you know, from the way it was laid out, very nice, very good. And a, a store that's similar to Five Star and I think one of the other ones that we had seen yeah. Um, it makes it just hard to judge, right? I mean, like I'm going back and trying to remember all of the other stores and trying to rank them and thinking this is a very, very, very nice place, which is not a bad thing at all. Um, wish I'd seen more maybe design aesthetic, but even as I say that, I, I'm trying to remember what exactly that means to me or, or define what that means to me because I'd be happy to walk in that store and purchase a product. And tell people yeah, I would have I would have loved it if the video was a little more slowed down. You know, I think that they're in such a rush to show us everything they had to offer. You know, we tried to give them five minutes of time to give us as much as they possibly can. I would have been totally fine if they, that video would have been slowed down a little bit and we could have took a little bit more of a deep dive into some of the different places and some of the different nooks and crannies of the stuff that they could have offered to show. Agreed, yeah. agreed. Maybe, maybe that was it for me, right? Just, just slowing it down a little bit and 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 showing you know some of the artwork or or how they wanted to show a uh, showcasing that but otherwise you know very very nice place and and one of the stores that's making it hard for me to say i'll say this who was first second and third right um i, I think they deserve to be up at the top of the ranking at this point we still got a few more places to take a look at but i agree i'm glad that i'm not one of the judges all i get to do is post this and <laughs> dig and hang out with you great people. But I'm interested to hear one more judge on this one. I kind of want to hear what Bob has to say about it as well. Uh, Bob, what did you think about the hookah zone? Wow. I, you know, I have to say now, now I'm like, this is what I'm looking for. This is, this is a shop that is really dedicated to, to hookah enthusiasts. Uh, they have their homemade tobacco laid there. They have their pipes. I really love the the, the design layout. I, again, I wish they would have uh, slowed down the video uh, so you could see a little bit more of the inside of the store. But uh, you know that is a great shop. That is definitely going to be in uh, in in the top running right there, in my opinion. That's what I want to see. I want I want to see hookah product, not head shop product. I, you know, this is a hookah battle, you know, interior design. So I want to see, see that in these videos. And, uh, uh, unfortunately a couple of videos lacked on that point. And, uh, but definitely that's a store I want to go to on one of my travel days. That, that was really nice. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, it definitely looked very cool. We still have a couple more places that we need to take a look at before any of the final voting is done, but it sounds like this is getting Absolutely. to be a harder and a harder competition. So let's oh, go yeah. ahead. This is, get, this is getting good. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one of our locations. We're going to travel all the way to Florida, to Miami, to take a look at Hookah Place.
Well, I don't think it's too far stretched or crazy for me to say that the competition is heating up and the best entries are definitely right here. And we're seeing some pretty outstanding stuff. This competition is getting a lot harder and I'm glad that I'm the judge. I'm not the judge and I'm just the host to hang out with you and check out all these different locations. Make sure if you haven't yet, share the video out to all the different social media platforms and to your friends, youtube.com slash hookah battle. We are going to be crowning a interior design for a hookah shop. And I'm interested to hear what Jack has to say about hookah place in Miami, because this is what you were waiting for. This is what you wanted. This is another one, just like the last one, where you walk in and you know this is a hookah shop. It's very inviting. They got everything. They were very well stocked. And you know what was you know you know what I look at also? Uh, there are stores that are elegant, like the mob hookah store, and there are stores where the dis interior design and the artwork is the product. And I really believe that this store was showcasing their product as their design of the shop, right? They had from floor to ceiling product and it was all in a very organized fashion it all looked really good when you walked in the door it looked really clean it looked really nice they had their logo in the center kind of like five star has that also they got their cash register and their logo it kind of it kind of uh you know puts that backdrop of all the product into perspective of who's selling it to you and you know stores like that stores like the last one i talked about uh you know stores like five star when i walk in a store like that i want to take my wallet out and buy something whether i need it or not you know it makes you feel like you just need to be involved in what's going on in the store. I really like that place. Yeah, I've walked into hookah shops in my local area that are not exciting. They don't have very much variety. They don't have a whole lot to give to me. But I still want to buy something because it's like, when else am I going to go to a hookah shop? But if I had a hookah shop that I could go into that looked like that, oh my gosh, my wife would be very angry because I probably would not come home with a good wallet. So, you know, honestly, I agree yeah. So, honestly, you know, owning an online shop, if I had a shop like that next to me, I wouldn't shop online. I, I would just support that shop. They got everything I need. It's all right there. Walk in, buy it, interact with people. Like I, I like that experience more. And that, that, that place seemed like the kind of place that offered that experience. And not only that, but the place was very well laid out. Yes, it was. I'm excited to see the different great interior designs that we have to showcase here from the United States, because as Jack said earlier, we do have some awesome shops, and that is definitely a very, very good looking shop. I'm interested to hear what Neve has to say about this shop, though, as well. Neve, what did you think about Hookah Place down in Miami? It made me want to go to Florida. I don't know about you. I loved it. This is Hookah Battle material right here. We This should be the standard for every state here in the U.S. as far as hookah shops go. Um, I loved the lighting up above the display, the hookahs up above the shelves. They had really uh, nice LED lighting, very nice LED lighting and um, all the lower shelves with the smaller hookahs. Uh, this is a one-stop shop. This is a place that I, if it was local to me, I would love to go there. Um, as far as layout, there was so much product, but it didn't feel overwhelming with how well they had it organized. And as far as design goes, for me, it was a little bit on the basic side, but still acceptable. This is something that I'm glad I'm glad they entered into this competition. I, I completely agree. It was very exciting to see a place like that. And I know that you, you guys, as the judges, your job just got a whole lot harder right now. Yes. So uh, good luck with that. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at our final entry on today's bracket for the interior design for hookah shops here in the United States. So let's go ahead and travel on over to 404 Smoke Shop. Hey, this is Brandon, Smoke Shop Masterclass and 404 Smoke Shop. Today is an awesome day. What we did today was we brought in all the glass displays. We brought in slat wall. And the slat wall helps to facilitate hanging of shelves for all your merchandise and everything that goes on the wall. Um, come on back. So since the last time we've talked, we got lights. And let there be light. So we got all the fixtures hung, ceiling fans hung. Um, we've got doors. Check out this cool pocket door right here. That's pretty cool. And then in the humidor room, in the cigar sales room here, all the lights are up. We're still spray painting the, the suspend, suspended ceiling. Got some great jobs and some great, great uh, partners here as far as our build out is concerned. 
This is really, really cool here too, you know. We've got our, our doors are ready to hang, uh, barn doors. So otherwise than that, everything's coming together. Lastly, marketing. So outside, outside you'll notice that we've already hung our sign up top. We've also just talked to the post person, the postal carrier, because what happens is we needed to register with Google Business. And that's how we gain a lot of our traction because when they say smoke shop near me, then our particular smoke shop will end up there. We'll get a lot more traction from that perspective. Also with our customers, we're able to get likes and, and reviews. So it's very important for you to have a Google business. These are just some of the things that we're working on today. We're probably about a few days off from getting the slat wall up. So then we can go ahead, start getting inventory in here, be ready for sales. Next steps, we'll be going down to the uh, city courthouse and getting our business license. Brandon Johnson, 404 Smoke Shop and Smoke Shop Master Class signing off. Well, there it was, the 404 Smoke Shop. Kind of an interesting video because it gave us a good glimpse of the before and the stuff that they went through to get their shop actually set up and then also the after into what it looked like. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the after and what that looked like exactly, but it still seemed like a pretty nice location with a lot of very cool stuff, but we didn't get to really see as much as I, I would have liked to. I wanted to see more. It left me with a taste of wanting more but let's go ahead and turn it on over to our judges and see what they thought about that exactly so kendrick what did you think about the 404 smoke shop um you know man i'd say it you took the words right out of my mouth in that sense which was a lot of the before it it seemed like they still hadn't if i watched just that video i would well and i did watch just that video after watching it, just that video i came across a little confused meaning Oh my God, that place is going to be a beautiful place when it's done, right? Is is what I would say. And when they clipped in all of the post images, I kept going, wait, it is done, right? Because they didn't focus on that. Yeah. Excuse me. It wasn't until the end when, you know, they talked about the cigar room, which I wish they had called a hookah room, um, given how nice it was. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, that, that maybe it is done. Um, and I didn't get a sense of the entire store, right, and what it looked like throughout the video, and and why it should be a why it should be today a very nice hookah store. What I walked away with was, wow, next year it might be a very very cool place where I want to hang out, and it seems like it might be, but the video didn't it didn't highlight how nice it is today. It, to me, it highlighted how nice it will be at some point which yeah. probably does a disservice to the account given the fact that it looked like it is a nice place but the video left me thinking that it hadn't been completed or it hadn't been finished yet and i would argue that it does a disservice to the store simply because you know i don't know i, I didn't walk away thinking that it was completed or it looked like it nice as it looked like it will be as nice as it could have been the way I thought about what the end product would look like. And I think yeah, I definitely, a few times, but that's my yeah. overall takeaway. Yeah, it left me wanting more. That's the biggest takeaway for me is I just wanted more. I wanted to see, all right, well, if you're done with it, let's see what it looks like. I wanted to see what it turned into because it was cool to see the before. It was cool to see them working on it and what it was, what it didn't, what it wasn't. And then it would have been nice to see what it was exactly. Yeah, so I'm interested to hear what we'll see and hear from uh, Smoking with Bob as well and his thoughts about the 404 Smoke Shop, the last shop that we're seeing on today's competition. So, Bob, what did you think about the 404 Smoke Shop? 
And I'm not sure, maybe Bob is not available at the moment. I'm, I'm further away from my comments to talk to our, our judges. So we're going to go ahead and move on and not worry about that right now. So what I'm going to ask now is that all the judges, they go through their final tallying to make sure they have the order of all their votes that they want to, to get everybody set up for everything that they have. Um, and then we're going to be going into that afterwards. We're going to take a look at all of our sponsors. want to give a big shout out and thank you to all the sponsors on today's Hookah Battle Hookah Shop Interior Design Award, Al Fokker, World Tobacco Original, Concept Design Hookahs, Aria Hookah, Cocoa Earth, uh, Upgrade Forum, Alderman Hookah, uh, Heavenleaf, World Hookah Market, Peter Smoke USA, Hookah Expo Worldwide. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Let's go ahead and hear from all of them right now. Original Extract
Well, there you have it. Thank you once again to all of our wonderful sponsors. We appreciate them sponsoring this event. Uh, also, don't forget about the Hookah Smoke Tricks, Eternal Smoke Tricks, put on by Eternal Smoke. And check out hookahbattle.com for all the information about that. And don't forget about Hookah Worldwide Expo happening in Las Vegas. I'm going to be there. And if you're there, well, then come and say hello to me because I'm definitely going to want to say hello to you. Make sure you sign up for the hookah battle that's happening in Las Vegas. You can find out more information about that. Once again, usacup.hookahbattle.com. Go and check out all that information. But we're going to talk about some of the other awesome things that the hookah battle puts on as a service to the uh, overall hookah community and industry. The very first thing that I want to tell you about is Hookah Hub. Now, Hookah Hub is an international professional collective hookah blog. It is a platform designed to help hookah professionals from all over the all over the world to exchange experiences, ideas, and everything else in between that. Hookah Hub, an international collective hookah blog. If you're unaware of what Hookah Hub is, go and check them out. Sign up for them. It's one of those kinds of things that if you're a part of the world of hookah, you're going to want to be a part of because it's a way to connect with other hookah professionals as well. Talking about hookah professionals, actually, we should go ahead and talk about hookah headhunt as well. Hookah headhunt is the first world's job search service for the hookah industry. It was created by the hookah battle, and it is the only one in the world that specializes in services for finding employees inside the hookah industry. And for the people here in the United States of America who are always curious about what's happening in the world of hookah, I'm going to tell you right now, go on to hookah headhunt right now. There's actual job in, uh, there's actual job listings for the American market. So if you're interested in getting involved in the hookah industry, that is the place that you are going to want to go. So head on over to hookah headhunt. All right. So talking about now for the uh, actual cash prize that the individuals are going to win the certificates for coming in first, second, and third place. The first place certificate is $150. The second place certificate is $100. And the third place certificate is $50. So I'm very excited to see and hear what we have from all of the judges. We're going to have a couple of last words from all of them. So I want to bring them all onto the screen now so that we can hear their final words in reference to talking about all of these awesome places that we were able to take a look at today. So I'm gonna start with the person that's closest to my side at least, and that is Smoking with Bob. So what are your last words about this hookah interior design for USA hookah shops? Well, I mean, it was a big battle. Uh, there are a few entries that, that lacked in the uh, hookah, hookah uh, aspect of the, uh, of the bath, but we saw some really, really great entries, and I was excited to, to uh, judge them. A few, a few of the shops made it a little difficult to choose, but uh, I, I think there was a clear winner here, and uh, I think that will be uh, shown to us very shortly. Ooh, exciting to hear. We're gonna leave you with a little bit more suspense. Neve, what was your opinion of the hookah battle, hookah shop interior design? I do wish that I got a comment on some of the other shops that I did see. But overall, as a battle, there was some amazing entries as far as the design. And I was really excited to be a part of it. Yeah, this is definitely a very exciting uh, uh, battle that we were able to have, introducing a lot of different locations, some places that I would definitely love to go and visit. I was lucky enough that I did get to comment on all of them. So, you know, that's the, the perk of being the host, I guess. But I want to hear now what uh, uh, Kendrick has to th say about the Hookah Battle Interior Design Award. What were your thoughts about it? You know, I, I, I think to your point, there were some clear winners, some clear losers. Unfortunately, our, our folks that probably didn't rise to the occasion the way I wish they would have. Um, I think for me, honestly, it's a battle for third place. And as I sit here and continue to rank my stores, you know, I'm trying to recall or, or at least be honest to the accounts and say, okay, who I think is at least third. And, you know, over the past three minutes, I probably switched the order about four or five times. A lot of nice shops, a lot of great hookah stores. But if, but if I would judge it on a pure design perspective, the difficulty I'm having now is determining who I came in third versus first or second. And, and hopefully by the end of the competition, I'll have a better concept in my mind of, of uh, who I thought was third, but but first and second to me are clearly cemented in my mind and congratulations to those accounts. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what those are. I'm starting to get messages in right now, so I'm going to be able to announce those to you guys very shortly. I did not, I was not a part of the judging in any way of this at all, so I have no idea until it finally gets sent to me. I'm just along for the ride, just like all of you. But I'm interested to hear in Jack's final words about the hookah battle interior design. Don't let me down, Jack. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. I just want to say it's an honor and it's a pleasure. Anytime I get to participate in any, any of these hookah battle events, and I have to say to today's decision making was extremely difficult. Like uh, Kedrick said, there were some obvious winners. There were some obvious losers. Um, and, uh, you know, I judged upon, you know, my opinion of what I like to see as the interior design, a nice interior design of a, of a hookah shop. And I hope that, uh, you know, I was true to the uh, hookah battle uh, judging process. I did my best. I always do my best to be as uh, unbiased and clear as possible. And I think that uh, the results are going to be, you know, uh, the, the results are, I mean, the, 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 the results are going to speak for themselves. I agree exactly. with you. Thank yeah. you. Even if, even if you can't speak for yourself, I'll help you out a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Just a little tongue twisted right now. I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited for you to be here as well. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a look at them right now. So we're going to start with third place and move our, on our way up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the winner coming in third place with a $50 gift certificate or, or certificate. Uh, it is going to be... Hookah Zone. There you go, Hookah Zone coming into third place. That only leaves congratulations. Open congratulations to Hookah Zone. Thank you so much for participating and being a part of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at who's coming in second place. Coming in second place for the United States Hookah Battle Hookah Shop Interior Award winner. Second place is Hookah Place Miami. There you go. Hookah Place Miami coming in second place. Exciting times. That leaves one more place, and that leaves one more item on the agenda today to crown the absolute winner. And I think a few of you might have in your head, if you are watching the show, who the winner probably is going to be. But I need a drum roll anyway, so if you could please help me in giving me a little bit of a drum roll. Coming in first place in the United States Hookah Battle, Hookah shop interior award design challenge five star hookah congratulations There it is, the first place. Congratulations to Five Star Hookah. Absolutely fantastic. I want to thank all of our judges and everybody that was able to hang out today and be a part of this. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you so much, Neve. Thank you, thank Kedrick. You. And thank, thank you, you, Jack, for hanging out and being the judge in this very difficult item to judge. I appreciate it extremely. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your humble host on today's journey. Thank you to Hookah Battle. Thank you to Oleg, the president of Hookah Battle, and all the people that are behind the scenes that you don't even get to hear from or, or hear about. The director, the people that are helping write the scripts, put together this entire thing. It takes an army of people to make what you just saw happen. And I want to say thank you. for they, They're the ones that make me look good. So thank you in the background to our director and everybody else that's a part of this. 
Uh, if you are not already, make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash hookah battle. My name is Matt for Morning Hookah. Make sure you check out youtube.com slash morning hookah. And I hope to see you in Las Vegas at the hookah battle at the hookah expo worldwide happening October 8th and October 9th. If anybody else has anything else to say, if not, just want to say thank you, Matt. Thank it was you a, so a much. privilege and an honor. You did a great job. It was a wonderful time. Thank you. Right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of this. We appreciate it so very much. And until next time, everybody keep on smoking. Don't forget to pass that hookah and enjoy the bowl that you pack. Catch you next time. Bye. Take care.